<sighs> I've always wanted to do the classic YouTube apology sit and sigh and today, today I got to do it. So it's all complete. I feel like the realest YouTuber I could have possibly ever been. Hey Girl Scout, what's shaking? How have you been? I personally have been great, reading all your comments as usual, having a good time, but I realized quickly that you guys were sending me a lot of information about yourselves, but you guys don't really know a lot about me. And I'm the first person to stand up and say, this is fucked, this is not right, this is not cool. So today, I decided I'd film a Q&A. I asked you on Discord, my community tab, and on Instagram to send me whatever questions you wanna know about me and you guys delivered. I have a ton of questions to get through, so I don't know if I'll get through all of them, but I'm gonna go through and pick some that stood out to me, and um, yeah, we'll just go from there. So let's just jump right into it. Let's start with Discord. Um, that's where you guys sent the most amount of questions. Sorry, I'm looking down at my phone looking through the questions, but um, yeah, you guys sent me a lot of questions on Discord and a few of them were very fun. So let's, let's go through them. Do you like pineapple on pizza? I feel like this is one of those questions where a lot of people are very polarized on, but I just don't care. Like. It's, it's there, I'll eat it. It's not like, oh, I'm not gonna eat the pizza. Yeah, hello, 911? But I'm not gonna go out of my way to order it. So I'm pretty neutral on it. And I know that's a hot take, but I just don't care. And I don't think that many people actually do. I think that it's just like an internet opinion that we've all just become accustomed to having to take the sides on. Um, it's like those frosted cookies from Walmart, you know the ones, which personally I love, so. That's my, that's my opinion on that. Um, do you like cats or dogs more? I don't really have one or the other that I like more. I currently have a cat, but I grew up with a dog. I grew up with cats. So I, I just like having pets. So <laughs> that's my answer for that one. Apart from doing videos for YouTube, what else do you like to do? Um, I have a lot of hobbies. I really like playing piano. I like singing, writing, going out with friends, um, reading, playing video games, uh, going and playing sports in the field. Um, I like exercising occasionally. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Um, cooking, baking going for long drives, traveling, uh, you name it. I have a lot of hobbies and things I like to do. Um, so when I'm not doing YouTube, I am definitely doing something. Um, even if it's just chilling, watching some Netflix. Um, why the name Retro Phantom? It's funny because before I really got into YouTube, I was just using the name GracieKins97. That was my snap name growing up. Um, so I just kind of went with that. It was what I grew up with as like a nickname. So, so I just went with that, but then I decided to take YouTube a little bit more seriously. I decided to rebrand so that I could have opportunities for, you know, merch for like, um, a theme for my videos. So I wanted, um, like a nineties retro pink gaming kind of aesthetic, um, like a vaporwave type of thing. So I was thinking retro and then I was like, well, what do I go with, with retro? And I tried a bunch of different names and words and Phantom's the one that stuck. Um, I think at the time I was playing a lot of Persona 5, so maybe that's why, but it just kind of flowed for me. And um, yeah, I've adopted that name and it just, it fits. I love it, so yeah. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? I really want to go to Japan. Um, I've wanted to go for a few years. I was supposed to go with my brother, but then obviously COVID hit, so I wasn't able to. Um, and my boyfriend and I are definitely planning on going as soon as possible. Um, I want to go because I love the culture. I love the customs. Um, I obviously love 
stuff like anime. I love like stuff like video games. I love Japanese food. I, I love the uh, scenery there. And I also have my black belt in Japanese jujitsu. So I always thought it would be really cool to go to a dojo there and just take a class or even just see what it's like there. So um, yeah, I really enjoy the concept of Japan. And I've watched a lot of videos of people living there. I've watched a lot of Canadians travel and visit there and it just looks really interesting um so yeah other than that i want to go well, to a lot of places iceland would be cool um i want to go to more of canada and more of the uk my two homes i want to just see different cities and towns and provinces and states and whatever the word is <laughs> I want to go to a tropical place. That would be fun. I want to go to an all-inclusive tropical resort. I think that would be awesome just to relax. Um, I've always thought Bora Bora looked cool. I just want to go all over. And I feel like, like a lot of people, since COVID hit, it's been something that I've been thinking about more and more and waiting to, to do when we can again. So I'm very excited. My favorite anime. Ooh. I do dabble in anime. I'm not like a massive super fan, but I have a few shows that I have watched all the way through and I really enjoy, um, particularly Mob Psycho 100. That's really good. I grew up with Sailor Moon. I have a Sailor Moon tattoo, so obviously that's going to be up there. Um, I really liked Psyche K and I really liked Peach Girl. I really liked the, you know, the school related yeah i i like lighthearted, easy to watch anime i've been trying to watch things like bleach and um naruto and stuff like that it's very hard for me to keep focus especially when there's that many episodes i know a lot of people have recommended jojo's bizarre adventure to me i just i don't know if i can tackle that many episodes of something so yeah but i do watch anime i do get into it when i get into it and i um i have a few that i quite enjoy what's your favorite song Currently, I like a couple of Joji songs. Um, I like uh, Daylight, Run, um, Slow Dancing in the Dark. I'm just going through a massive Joji phase. Sam, 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 Sam. Fatality. And then one of my favorite songs of all time is Let Her Cry by Hootie and the Blowfish because I am a dad trapped in a 24 year old's body. What's your favorite Timbit? Getting into the Canadian questions. Oh, makes sense. I've always been partial to a chocolate glazed, especially because they never seem to put enough in there. But I also like the controversial kind of food. I don't particularly like plain, and I'm very annoyed because they always seem to put way too many birthday cake ones that don't really taste that good. So yeah, anyone that hasn't been to Tim Hortons before and is thinking of getting Timbits, don't don't go for the birthday cake i know it sounds tempting but it's not what you think it is can you handle horror games no i'm a little bitch but i try i liked phasmophobia i never won a game of it but i enjoyed it i loved resident evil it's one of my favorite game series ever um i played outlast with my boyfriend i really enjoyed that even though it scared the shit out of me and i couldn't sleep at night um yeah, I do enjoy it. I like horror movies as well, but I'm just a little bitch at night. I get really scared afterwards, so. Who's your favorite SpongeBob character? <sighs> That's a hard one. I really do enjoy my SpongeBob. I grew up watching it and um, I'm partial to the memes. I think Patrick's always gonna be one where you just like, you gotta love him. Um, do you have any pets? Slash, can I see your Bengal cat? Slash, whatever. There were tons of questions about it. I have a cat, her name is Ridley, she's a Bengal. I will go and get her in a second. Um, someone asked how old she is when I got her, the story behind that. So she is just over a year old. She turned one in October. She's an October baby like me. And um, I got her, when I was going through a tough time, I just, something in me said, you need a cat. And it was weird because I was always like, no, I'm a dog person, but I said, I need a cat and I saw bangles and I thought I need a bangle. I got really lucky with her. Um, the, the person said that there was people viewing her and that they wanted her, but we said, just squeeze us in. If someone cancels their appointment to view her, someone did. And I paid the deposit on the spot because I saw her and I knew I wanted her. Um, 
and we've been inseparable ever since. She was sick when I got her. She had toxoplasmosis, so she was really ill and we really bonded in that time because she would sleep beside me to try and break her fever and I had to feed her medicine and bring her to the vet and um, and we um, we became best friends. She's um, She's got a huge personality. She likes playing fetch. She um, used to like going for walks, even though now she tries to escape, so we've stopped that. Um, she's very vocal. She likes to scream at us. She likes to hunt. Um, she loves cuddles and purring and she's, um, yeah, she's everything I needed in that moment and she still is everything I needed now. And the story behind her name, Ridley, my brother helped me name her. I wanted like some sort of gamer name. I was going for like a Legend of Zelda name because I wanted to honor one of those games because I did really enjoy Legend of Zelda. So I wanted to name a cat Midna, but it didn't suit her. So I picked Ridley and then her middle name is like a little Easter egg. It's Dawn, short for Dawn of the First Day, to nod at Majora's Mask. So she does have a little Legend of Zelda name in there somewhere, but um, I'm gonna go grab her and show her off to you. She was napping. I swear to God, I tried like for 20 minutes to try and get her to sit in front of the camera. It didn't work. I included a bunch of um, videos and pictures. So hopefully you guys get an idea of what she looks like. Um, in future, I will be sure to have her in more videos when she's not so hyper and crazy. Uh, she just wasn't having it today. And anyone that has a cat knows, oh my God, just not possible to deal with when they're like that. So yeah. Anyways, that's all from me. Hope you all have an amazing day and I shall see you all in the next video. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Thanks for watching.